So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here and once again with Black Friday right around the corner I'm giving you a lot of gift ideas uh, for this upcoming holiday. So today we're taking a look at a portable monitor guys. Now this particular one is from Azai, measures 15.6 inches. Now this will be perfect for any gamer if you're on the go with your Nintendo Switch, your PlayStation, whatever the case is. It's also good as a second monitor so for your PC or you can hook it up to your phone whatever has an HDMI output you should be able to hook this up and have that additional screen so in this video we're going to do a quick unboxing we're going to test it out of course to see how it performs see the quality uh, let's go ahead and jump into it Now, big shout out to Azai for sending this out to me to review. This is a sponsored review. However, all the thoughts and opinions are of my own. Now, the size is a 15.6 inch IPS screen, guys. Now, the ratio on this is 69, and the resolution is 1920 to 1080, so 1080p. As far as the color temperature, guys, 6500K. So, the viewing angle is the height is plus or minus 85 degrees, and the vertical side to side is 85 as well. So contrast ratio is 1001 and the brightness is 250 CD. Now it does have a built-in speaker. Uh, it does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone interface so you guys can um, run audio through this. And overall, just excited to get this out of the box. So let's go ahead and do that. This one's a tough one. That's not a very good sound. So first thing, they did include a screen protector on this, so very, very nice. Here's the monitor itself. Don't want to damage it. Ugh. And let's just make sure we don't have anything else in the box. Sometimes they like to hide stuff. Good thing I checked. We do have a microfiber cloth uh, to wipe your screen. So they included USB-A to USB-C. We also have a regular USB-C cable, both ends. We do have an HDMI cable. All right, nothing else in the box. Let's double check it. Uh, uh, I think that's it for the box. So here it is, guys. Nice and skinny. So thinner than my finger. I have fat fingers. And wow. Look at this. That is awesome looking. So let's see how this opens. So this is the back. Wow. Look how thin that is. Holy moly. This is pretty impressive, guys. All right, so on this side, USB-C, USB-C, we also have an HDMI. It looks like it's a, a smaller HDMI connection. So on this side, this is the power button. This is actually the menu, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but this kind of moves up and down and also presses in. So that's how you'll navigate through the interface. Down at the bottom, you do have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Rubber legs. And I'm just overall impressed with the quality of this so far really really nice looking so how do we get it on the stand is the question so I finally got the stand on the holder in place and uh, this is what it looked like from the side I am not proud of myself it took way longer than it should have but nevertheless I got it up and running so this sits right there guys it does have uh, magnets and you can adjust the angle a little bit not too much but you can see you have some wiggle room right there. So this is very low power, guys. So if you do have a laptop, a MacBook or a Dell laptop, for instance, with a USB-C, uh, all you need to do is connect that C, then connect the video input, and you should be good to go. So I do have a Dell laptop right here, guys. And on this laptop, we have two USB-C ports. So if you don't have a brick or an available outlet, you can use your laptop to power this device. So I'm going to go USB-C right there. And we're gonna go USB-C into the device. There it is. Power's on, goes to power saving mode. However, no display is um, detected. So what we're gonna have to do now is hook up the HDMI cable that came with the monitor. So here we are connected guys, and you can see everything looks pretty good. Uh, do have it in full screen right now, uh, extended monitor. But all we have to do is hit the Windows P, and then we can go up and move it to 
duplicate and you can see everything is now duplicated uh, looks pretty good guys uh, looks really good so let's dive into the menu off the actual monitor so right here we do have the brightness slash contrast so it is adjusted all the way to 100 right now do have eco game movie photo hit the back button to go back all right, let's go back in we're gonna put it back to standard all right, hit the back button DCR sharpness we do have our color settings, so color temperature, hue, saturation, six colors, and we do have color gamut. Further down, we do have audio settings, so if I didn't mention it before, this does have a built-in speaker. And we're going to listen to that in a little bit. Other settings, so we have the aspect ratio set to full right now, free sync. Uh, we also have a language, HDR, and we do have the option to reset it. And further down, you do have the input source, guys. So two USB-C ports and one HDMI on this side. So we can use that second USB-C port as an input, so pretty cool. As far as the viewing angle, guys, you can see right there is about where the pictures start to go out also about right there so let's go ahead and play some audio from one of my recent videos so I decided to start out with this Nvidia shield because they made a lot of changes to the overall hardware you can see right there there's a round dongle they made the changes to the remote as well and in this video, we're going to do a quick unboxing. Alright, so that sounds pretty good. Um, like I said, this is a good companion if you guys are traveling and you have a laptop. You can just plug it in directly, no external power needed. So what if you wanted to play video games or do something on your fire stick, watch a movie, whatever the case is. You don't have a laptop, you do have options as well. Now with something like the Fire Stick with a regular HDMI uh, port, guys, you can easily buy one of these adapters. They're cheap on Amazon, three or four bucks, you get a couple of them. So uh, what this is is a regular HDMI to mini HDMI. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the side. So here we are back on the channel, guys, and you can see some of my uh, videos here once again. So welcome back to the channel. I'm going to there we go. Here. Today we got a mesh. So still looks good, guys. I think they're driving on the wrong side of the road. I have no idea which country I'm in right now. I also do have the big boy right here. This is a pretty cool device I reviewed a couple months ago. And with something like this with the mini HDMI as well, uh, what you can do guys is use the original cable that came with it. You're gonna use one of these adapters. All right, doesn't matter which any plug in. I'm gonna swipe up, unlock this bad boy. First, let me just go home. So all this is doing is mirroring um, this device. This is an Android device, but you can see I have all the apps there. This is a gaming device, obviously, with the big controls built in. But if you guys just want a bigger screen, um, you do have it available to you. Let me see if I can go ahead and just get a game started here. So obviously this works for um, anything that you want to make portable guys. So if you guys have a laptop works well, if you guys do have a gaming system, Xbox, even a Nintendo Switch is going to be perfect for you when you're on the go. So definitely a cool accessory, especially for you guys that want to be portable, whether it's a laptop, whether it's a gaming device, whether it's a streaming stick like the Fire Stick or the Nvidia Shield, this will be perfect for you to take on the go. So if you guys have any questions about this, drop them in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up on this video. Share this video if you think it might be a cool gift idea for this coming holiday season thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you on the next one